How do you drink? That's a shocker. The question. <laughs> Who am I? Shit. Hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've not posted in over four days, but today's video is going to be a chat with me video. I just kind of want to ch chat. Just ramble. Have no topic. Have no basis. Just have a chat. So, yeah, without further ado, let's start today's video. So, the first thing I want to talk about is Halloween. So, Halloween is coming up. It, as of today, of me filming this YouTube video, whether it gets posted today or tomorrow, don't know. I actually have a day off. I don't go to college on Fridays. So, woohoo! Um, as of today's date, today's date is the 26th of September. And Halloween is right there. We're here. Halloween's down here. So basically Halloween's like a month away. So, <laughs> but I had to plan my shit for Halloween because I am going to a Halloween party with my girl squad. Um, in regards to the time, um, the thing is I had to book tickets for the party. Um, and tickets... For, like Halloween shit sell out by the 1st of October so I had to get my tickets in I had to get my turn I had to um so I have like decided on what I'm gonna be for Halloween I know some people hit hit my parents think because I'm an adult now that dressing up isn't I shouldn't be allowed to dress up and I'm like what if I'm going to a Halloween party, bitch, I dress up, right? So, I had a Pinterest board. Let me show you my Pinterest board. Um, I had a Pinterest board on a few costumes, but I made an agreement with my parents that I was only allowed to dress up if my costume was Halloween themed. So, I've got a few things in my Pinterest board. One thing I really wanted to be for Halloween was a fairy but my parents said no because specifically my mum even though I've got the perfect dress it's a green dress with flower sleeves bitch that is fairy right and green goes with my hair <sighs> but I'm not allowed to be a fairy plus I the only things I've actually been for Halloween were I think I've been a dead school girl before. All my Halloween costumes since from like for the past few years have been custom. Like I've made them myself. Like I've ordered the raw pieces and also myself has been custom. Um, but my costumes when I was younger were store bought from party shops. <laughs> you know, that kind of shit. Um, and it was really hard when I was younger to buy clothes. I'm gonna be brutally honest. I've been a big bitch my whole life, so <laughs> finding clothes to fit my body type um, was very difficult. Obviously back then I was a lot bigger than I am now, but, and I, I'm more curvy than I was then, but still, I found it really, really hard to find cute and fun and like, all these other, Hall all these Halloween costumes I wanted to be when I was younger, I couldn't be because I was too big like it broke my heart <laughs> that's why now i do custom costumes because that way i can literally be what the flip i want and you know like i feel like personally if you guys are like me where like you go to like you used to go to halloween shops to buy all your halloween costumes but you could never find anything to fit you honey listen to me curvy girl to curvy girl or curvy boy to curvy girl I don't know me to you custom make your costumes custom that's what I do and it's a lot easier to do because one year I was actually for <laughs> two years I was a black cat all I had to do was buy cat ears and do some makeshift cat makeup and then wear all black how basic but also easy is that 
like bitch i had black leggings i had a back i had a black top easy money found cat ears for a few quid in the shops bought them and did because i've got like bloody drawer full of eyeshadow palettes so i could do the cat makeup myself easy easy um another idea another costume i was was a dead school girl like a zombie school girl that's what i did 2021 i think um basically it was makeshift again it was custom um i basically did diy makeup myself probably looked like shit but what can i say most of my stuff looks like shit <laughs> um and i literally like i didn't want to put any like paint blood or shit on my clothes so i just wore a checkered mini skirt and a white long sleeve top and decked the shit out of my face easy costume that's what i'm saying and then last last year no last year i was a black cat the year before that i was a Dival. Um, and all I did, because obviously I'm not supposed to like divas as opposed to wear red. Bitch, I don't own a red dress. I don't own one. Couldn't go out and buy one. So I make shift my own. I just wore a black dress. Um, I bought burgundy tights. Um, I think I wore black boots. And then I literally, from when I was younger, I had diva horns and the fork thing and a tail and i just on me i did red eyeshadow like it was easy like the thing is my costume my custom costumes have in the past few years have been really easy this year i've had to because i did have like old costumes of what i'm gonna be this year um i'm not gonna tell you what i'm gonna be you guys have to wait for my halloween videos my halloween based videos like i think i might do like a halloween vlog because my best friend in the whole entire world is gonna be with me so <laughs> that's gonna be fun she's should i say what she's being for halloween you know what i'll gatekeep that too just in case she doesn't want it at the whole my viewers to know yet <laughs> because she might she might do a halloween based video i don't know um but all I like, I because obviously in the past I had been this thing before, but I was really little, you know, that shit. So I tried on the costume that we'd already had. Yeah, let's just say my head was too big and I had broad, sh I had my shoulders too broad. So I couldn't do that. So I've just ordered my dress and it's supposed to be coming in two weeks. Halloween's, I think, four weeks away. I don't know for sure. Um, at least I know my party's four weeks away. Four and a half weeks away, I think. I don't know. Um, so I'm hoping it will arrive in time. I had to order my dress now because I, I ordered it off a site that takes a really long time to arrive. Um, so I've ordered my dress. Um, I'm just going to wear basic bitch black tights, black boots, you know, the drill. Makeup, all I've got to do is buy black lipstick. And then my accessory and then that's it and then my costume is done D-O-N-E done see that's what I like that's what I like about cust custom costumes is I can make it look how I want I can just use my own pieces like it's really easy so yeah if you want to if you want to like not have to spend a lot of sh money on costumes for Halloween custom your costumes and also, if you're a big bitch like me, or curvy bitch like me, custom costumes are the way to go. Okay, so like the next thing I kind of want to talk about is the update on college. Um, I've been at college for two weeks now. This is my second week. Wait. So my second week or my third week? I think I've been in college for nine, ten days. Don't know losing track but i've been in college for a while um i'm settling in really well like i'm um, thing is when i was younger i would not talk to a soul i wouldn't anyone i knew i'd be like no, mouth shut 
I should like I'm not I wasn't talking to no one. Now I've literally I've spoken to adults I never knew, uh, other students that I've bumped into and didn't know. I have conversations with them. I've had conversations with like people in my class that I never knew, laughing with like other students that I that I never knew. Like I'm I'm coming out my shell a lot, and I do feel like as I got older. I became more myself. Do you get what I mean? Like, I wasn't so much to myself. I did share. I talked to people, like, um, and in the past when I was younger, I'd literally sit in class. If I didn't understand what I was doing, I'd literally sit in class and do bugger all. Like, because I wouldn't want to raise my hand or ask for help. I'd just sit there like this. Waiting. Why did the teacher ask me, do I need help? And then I'd say no. Silly bitch. Then I'd say no. <sighs> but now I have I have grown from that bitch that I was, that the, the sweet little tiny girl that I was. I was never tiny, but you know what I mean. Um I'm now this confident woman. I will talk to anyone. The thing is, I still get wary about raising my hand. I'm learning on that. Leave me alone. But if the teacher's close enough to me, I will ask them what the hell am I supposed to do? Like today, um, I was supposed to stand up and watch what we were supposed to do. And people stood in front of me, so I couldn't see. <laughs> so when my when my teacher came over to me, I literally said to her, I was like, I don't understand what I'm doing. Um, can you assist? And she basically she talked it through step to step with me. Because I've got my learning difficulties, so, so yeah. but couldn't tell, I don't think. Um so she told me what I was doing and I did it. And I was literally the first one to finish my work. I was the first one to finish my work and I was the only one in the class that didn't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> Look at me go. Um, I've only had one so far, I've only had one day off, and I don't want to touch myself. Touch wood. Is that wood? Touch wood. Touching the wood. Touching the wood. Um, so I'm behind by one task, but I can easily catch up with that. Like, I can, I can easily catch up. So, yay! Um, I'm, all, I'm almost like completely caught up anyway so yeah I'm doing quite well um and yeah um my English is fine my maths is fine I've actually thing is in maths is my like my, my maths is my most like nervous subject I won't raise my hand I actually raised my hand in maths Hog to drink, that's a shocker. Because little me, like younger me, would never do that, ever. In any class, let alone maths. But in maths, this bitch raised her hand. This bitch raised her hand. And I and answered the question. <laughs> Who am I? Shit. Anyway, um, yeah, I did it. And my math teacher's really friendly, really understanding. He actually assisted me with my work because I was so confused. I would have never done that. I would have never asked for help. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> look at look at me, guys. New bitch. Um, but yeah, so math is going well. English is going well. Um, my main course is going well so far. So yeah. Well, it's all right for me at the moment. My time table has been adapted because I had really long hours. I was finishing at four, starting at nine thirty every day, and finishing at four thirty every day. And me being like different, <laughs> I found that really hard for like a while. So I spoke to the head of my department, and she adjusted my timetable so it fit me best. And I think it's good. Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So Mondays, I have to be there 
till four because it's a maths day. Tuesday, I can leave at 3.30. Wednesday, I finish, I can leave at 2.30. Um, and Thursday, um, I finish at four because it's an English day. So I have to stay there for four. Um, yeah. Let me go. Look at me go. So proud of myself, like, honestly. Pat on my back yeah okay guys that's all because i know i wanted to talk about more topics but i've just been rambling i've looked back on the past two clips and they are bloody long so this video is already gonna be too long if you would like me to do another life update and talk about different topics let me know and i will do that but yeah guys so um i hope you enjoyed today's video i know i've been slacking a lot on posting i just have been very very busy with college i'll try and get back into that a lot more um maybe on my on my tuesdays when i finish at 3 30 i can film and then on a wednesday i can film and post that on the thursday like but yeah guys let me know if you question comment down below what you guys are being for halloween and what are your plans for halloween because i'm kind of intrigued so yeah anyway guys that's today's video make sure you click that like button just tell to show me that you liked today's video make sure you click that subscribe button so you are part of the firm and make sure you hit that notification bell if you're notified every time i upload a brand new youtube video all my social media will be in the description box below which you can follow me and outside youtube when i'm not filming or editing a brand new youtube video and yeah i'll see you in my next one goodbye my loves